guys, welcome back to Jennifer's channel. Uh, right now she is busy making breakfast, so I was going to I was going to intro this uh, video. It's about Valentine's, kind of what we did to uh, make a few things for our friends, our close friends of ours. Um, here, I that's a little something I got Jennifer over here and a little bouquet flowers. Couple of balloons. This is our Valentine's to you. Happy Valentine's. All right, we are going to make candle holders. We had planned on making these for Christmas, but we never got around to it. So we decided to turn the Christmas candle holders into an all purpose candle holder and then make it as a get Valentine's Day gift. We have three people we're going to give these to. And so what we're going to use is these glass jars that we got at the Dollar Tree. They were a dollar each. Some Epsom salt, Mod Podge, twine, and these red and white glass beads that we got at the Dollar Store as well. That's what they look like inside the jar. And then we'll put some candles in it when we're done and then they'll be pretty little Valentine's Day jars. All right, we're gonna start by putting a coat of the Mod Podge on our jars. I thought it was Mod Podge too, but apparently it reads Mod Podge. So the G is silent. Oh, well, Mod Podge, yes, you're right. You're correct as usual, my love. My silly Valentine. We're actually going to be making some Valentine's Day gift baskets. So this is step one in the gift baskets. I'm assuming we're going to have to work kind of some somewhat quickly. Yes. So we can roll it in the Epsom salt, correct? Correct. Now we just spray it with that sealant. Should we take them outside and spray them? Yeah. All right, we're gonna put our baskets and our bucket together. We have two baskets, one for, we have two friends that we're giving these to. And then this bucket is going to be for a sweet lady that's like my mom. Right across the hallway. Yes, yeah, right across the hall. That's who we uh, decorated for uh, her birthday. Yes. So we're gonna put these together. I would say put the red in the pink bucket. Yeah. We didn't get too much candy for anyone. We just got these little fudge hearts. In there. Yeah. Set these aside. Oh, All right, give me the jars. Maybe need to take a knife to that or something. This is how our jars came out. We didn't show you the step we skipped showing you. We sprayed them with um sealant so they wouldn't it's like a clear coat yeah a clear coat 
We're just gonna add these to the jar. We'll stick an extra one in the bucket. Just take one of the red rocks from inside there and stick it on that front. These are our little gift baskets that we made up. We've got this one is for the lady across the hall. She's like a mom to me. Oh, it's little eyes. Oh, it's a little eyeball, I guess. What is that? Light in his eyes. Yeah, light in his eyes. Um, this is gonna be for the lady across the hall. It's like a mom to me. Her little gift bucket for Valentine's Day. We just did one little crunch bar for her and a teddy bear. We also have a balloon for her with a card and a rose. And then these are gonna be for two of our friends. We're friends, like there's a group of us, there's three couples, so we're gonna make the, the women of the couple. We didn't get anything for the guys because I don't know what you get a guy for Valentine's Day. I mean, other than that you're in a relationship with. I mean, just a random guy, I'm not quite sure what we would get them, but I'm sure they'll find enjoyment because, I'm sure they'll find enjoyment because their wives are enjoying it. Um, or girlfriend, whatever the case may be. So we've got our little buckets that we filled with our little confetti stuff. We have our stuffed animal, our jars we made, our candle jars, and a rose, and then there's a few pieces of chocolate in there. And that's it. Those are our little Valentine's Day gift baskets.